Grand Rapids undergoing a bad diagnosis. In 2011, Joyce Jensen was diagnosed with a disease that is destroying her lungs. And now she needs a double transplant, which isn't cheap. And now there's a fundraiser to help get the word out. Joining us right now is Joyce and Lisa Lovell. Hello. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks so, for thanks. being here. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Nice to see you. So go ahead and tell us about 2011 was the diagnosis, but you, your health problems actually have been with you your entire life. Yes, I was diagnosed with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis at age two, which is an autoimmune disease, meaning my body attacks my joints. And um, two years ago, I started feeling short of breath. And uh, subsequent testing found out that I had um, bronchiolitis obliterans, which my immune system was attacking my lungs, destroying them. And um, inevitably, now I need a double lung transplant to survive. And Lisa, you're friends with Joyce, correct? Yes. And you kind of got involved um, when your friend needed help? Yes. Um, we've been friends since we were nurses at Blodgett on the ortho floor for several years. and. Um, when we first started realizing the severity of what was happening and that a lot of money was going to need to be raised, um, I, I was ready to start planning the first event, and so we're really excited to have the first event on Friday, this Friday, on May 31st. To help raise money, and, and obviously um, you have insurance, but there are so many other costs that go along with it for the rest of your life even after the transplant. Yes, after transplant you have to be on lifetime medication and um, those are very costly. Some of them are used off-label and if you do not take your medication on a schedule, your um, body can reject those organs and you could die from rejection. So it's very important to be compliant with medications that are quite costly and uh, subsequent visits. It's lifetime visits. So talk about some of the ways that you're, you're hoping to raise some of this yeah. money. On Friday night at Thousand Oaks, we're having our first event. It's called Breathe, so we hope you're all going to come to Breathe with us. Um, it's going to be uh, live music provided by Andro, a band that's coming to play for us. And we're going to have a silent and a live auction then that night. We also are working with the National Foundation for Transplants, where you can um, donate online at www.transplants.org and look for Joyce Jensen under the patient search and you're able to donate their uh, credit card or send in a check as well. And I know you're selling these t-shirts um, yes. that you actually designed, really encouraging people to be an organ donor because yes. for you, that's ultimately what will save your life. Yes, for me, it's, it's been a difficult journey, but ultimately I want to promote organ donation. So I took a little sketch and a kindergarten sketch turned into a great t-shirt and they're $15 and I have a blog that tells more about my story. JoyceMJensen.blogspot.com, right. and uh, certainly I would just love to promote organ donation. So right. you can do that at uh, GiftOfLifeMichigan.org as well to sign up to be an organ donor and it's easier help than ever. Isn't Absolutely, it? and you can help so many people. One person can save up to eight people, and that's remarkable. Right, and you're a nurse, so you've probably yeah. seen that in action, I'm sure. Many yes, times. yes, I'm a nurse practitioner, and it's really important uh, to again just promote uh, what you can do to save others and um, just help a little bit and. That's that's what life is all about, is helping one another. Have you been able to continue working since your diagnosis, or is it, is it more difficult now? It's definitely difficult. I, I work part-time. I feel like I, I want to stay as active as I can um, just to help me physically stay stronger and mentally stay stronger because it is a difficult, difficult journey and a difficult diagnosis. Uh, but I, I knew that I needed to just try to stay as active as I can, and I want to help people, and so that's in my soul, and so that's why I continue to work, although it is exhausting. I can't yeah. lie. I, yeah. I come home and... Well, we saw the picture, too. You have a family as well. Yes, I have a great husband, Greg, who's been with me uh, through thick and thin. He's wonderful, and I have a little five-year-old, uh, Eric, who's so going to be starting kindergarten right there. Oh, that's so he's sweet. He's very cute, if I say so myself, so <laughs> he's very cute, so... Thank you. What has it been like for you to kind of plan this for your friend? Is that something you're, you've done before? Have you ever? No, actually not at all. I stay at home with my children now, and this has become my next full-time job, but it's been something that I think once you realize um, you see people that are perfect strangers donating to something or becoming involved with something bigger than all of us, it's, it's really exciting to see how community can rally around people and how... You know, it's, it is all about helping others and finding the joy in life as you see it right now. Lucky to have such good friends. She's awesome. And again, that's yes. this Friday, right? It is. Yes. Friday night. And good. please um, check out the blog or yeah. um, NFT's website if you're able to donate, or we'd love to have you at the event as well. Yes. Yes. That sounds good. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you. Best Thank of you. Luck. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Still ahead, a lot of